Hi everyone. Today we're going to show what happens during a solar eclipse like the one scheduled for April 8th, 2024. Today you'll be using Scratch to create this demonstration along with important facts from this article that I've linked to your project. And hey, if you're new to coding or you need a refresher, check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube which will get you up to speed pretty quickly. I also suggest that you follow me and subscribe because I'll be posting videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's get going with today's activity. So I'm already here at Scratch, so scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click the Create button because we're creating a brand new project today. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the cat, so I'm going to click Garbage Can, Goodbye to the Cat. And today I'm going to go get a backdrop that works for this Eclipse project. And the backdrop I want, I'm going to choose right there, is called Blue Sky right there. You can choose whatever one you want, but I suggest you choose this one today. So I'm going to double click that, perfect. And now I'm going to go get the Sun Sprite. So I'm going to go down here where it says choose a sprite. So I'm going to click on that one. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to find the Sun. Uh, it's here somewhere. Come on, Sun. There it is right there. So I'm going to double click that. Perfect sun. Now I'm going to put the sun up in the center at the top of the sky. So when the green fly clicks, it always starts up there. So I'm going to go to the events button, green flag, and I'm going to make this a bit bigger so you can see this at home or at school, wherever you happen to be working. So when a green flag is clicked, go to like 0 and 100. So I'm going to go to the motion button right there. I'm going to grab the go to. And I want it to go in a dead center, so that's zero. And then up a little bit at the top, so 100. So that's where I want it to start. Ready? Green flag and perfect right there. Now I'm going to make it look like the sun is glowing. So I'm going to make it go brighter and a little bit less brighter. Watch how I do that. So I'm going to go to the looks button right there. The looks right there. It's purple. And I'm going to change, not the color effect, although that's what I'm going to grab. But I'm going to click the little arrow right there and change the brightness effect. So I'm going to make it brighter by 4. And then I'm going to make it brighter by negative 4. So it goes brighter and less brighter. So I'm going to go get another color effect and put it right there. Change brightness. And this one a negative 4. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of a weight in between each one. So I'm going to go to the control. Go get a weight. Not one second. That's way too long. I'm going to make it really small. Uh, 0 decimal 1. Then connect those and get one more weight. And make that... 0 decimal 1 and then I'm going to put a big forever loop around the whole thing so it's forever going to be changing its brightness so let's just test this out ready green flag and go perfect looks like it's glowing wonderful so I'm going to pause here let everybody catch up so go to scratch if a tutorial pops up exit the tutorial get rid of the cat go get a backdrop the one that I prefer is called blue sky and then go get the sun sprite and put it at the center top like 0 100 and then have it change its brightness the way I'm doing here and if you get stuck please please take a look at my code and when you're ready for the next part I'll be here waiting okay next let's go get a yellow ball which is gonna be our moon and of course we're just gonna color it so it looks more like the moon so look I'm gonna go way down here to the sprites I choose a sprite and I'm gonna get this yellow ball right there so there we are right there I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so right now it's 100% I'm gonna make it 200% and it should fit perfectly over top of the Sun because that's what happens and in an eclipse like this the moon will go in front of the Sun and block out most of the Sun except for a ring around the edge of the Sun there but let's go and change the color of the ball so I'm gonna to go to costumes see I'm on ball right now I'm gonna to go to costumes and I'm gonna choose a color that's gonna represent the moon so right now it's purple up there I'm just gonna uh, make it a bit more uh, grayish grayish see it's a bit grayer like right there not purpley but you gotta experiment with this until you get a right color okay where's that gray again there it is right there perfect right there so now I'm gonna hit the bucket right there and fill it in so now it looks more like the moon all right so I did that by the fill and I experimented there and then I clicked on the bucket and then filled it in blue perfect or uh, gray I should say so now I'm going to go back to the code and we're going to have the moon start over here. So somewhere like 240 and 40. So watch what I'm going to do. When the green flag is clicked, go to, go to, and I'm going to put down close to the edge 240 
and 40. I experimented a little bit earlier today to find the right numbers. Let's see where that is. Perfect, right there. And now we're going to code it to go in front of the sun. 0 and 100, just like the sun. So we're going to have a glide over there. So glide to 0 and 100, which is where the sun is. So not for one second. Let's make it go a little bit slower. So for 5 seconds. Watch, ready, green flag and glide slowly for five seconds to zero and 100, right over top of the sun. Perfect. Now we're gonna have it sit and wait there for 40 seconds. So I'm gonna go get a wait, and it's gonna sit there for 40 seconds. And then it's gonna glide off over to this side. So I'm gonna go get another glide. So glide for five seconds again there's lots of five seconds in this uh, project and glide to the exact opposite of where it started so negative 240 and 40 right there so let's see how this looks ready green flag and go it's going to glide over top of the sun it's going to sit there for 40 seconds and then it's going to glide way over here hey you know what happens when the um moon goes in front of the sun like this, uh, animals and insects think it's nighttime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some crickets to come out when the moon goes in front of the sun. So watch how I do that. I'm still on the moon. I'm going to go to the sounds right there. I'm going to go search for a sound. So I'm going to click way down here. And I think it's under effects right there, effects. And I'm going to scroll down and it's called crickets. Crickets. Where's crickets? Oh, you know what? Maybe it's under animals right there. Crickets, right there, perfect, let's hear it. There, that one, so I'm gonna click on crickets, perfect, and watch, see the moon is moving off, and stops right there, perfect. So I'm gonna go back to the code, now I'm gonna go get another green flag, so you can have many green flags in your project, so green flag, when the green flag is clicked, I'm gonna have it wait for five seconds again, uh, giving the moon time to go over top of the sun. And then, when it's after five seconds, we're going to play the sound crickets. Play sound crickets until done. And we'll do this maybe uh, ten times. So I'm going to put a repeat around it. Repeat ten times. Okay, we might have to change that number a bit later, but we'll see. Okay, let's try one more time. Ready, green flag, go. So there's no sound now. The moon is going to go in front of the sun, and we should hear the crickets. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to pause there. Let everybody catch up. I'll make this a bit smaller so you can see. we still got a, quite a few things to do, but I hope you're going to enjoy it. And as we're going to stop, if you get stuck, look at my code, and we'll see you when you're ready for the next part. Okay, before I do the next part, I'm just going to take off the cricket sound so it's not interrupting me while I'm talking. So now, next, when the moon goes in front of the sun, it should get pretty dark outside. So we've got to code that. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the backdrop right there, blue sky, and we're going to code it so that it gets dark. Watch how I do that. When the green flag is clicked, I want it to wait for five seconds, giving the moon enough time to go in front of the sun, five seconds. And after five seconds, we're going to change the brightness of the backdrop. So I'm going to go to the looks button, the purple one right there. Change color effect. Not color, though. We want to change brightness effect. Change brightness effect by negative 40 right there. So it's going to go over on top of the sun. It's going to take five seconds, and then it's going to get really dark out. So let's try that. Ready, green flag, and go. Should get pretty dark. Perfect. Now, um, we're going to have it wait there for 40 seconds. So I'm going to get a wait. So it's going to be dark for 40 seconds. Right there, 40 seconds. And then let's change the brightness back to normal after 40 seconds, after the moon comes off the sun. So I'm going to go get another change brightness. Change color effect. I'm going to make that change brightness. Change brightness by 40, so back to normal. Okay, so it'll sit there for 40 seconds, it'll be dark out, and then when it moves off, it'll change it back to normal. But I'm going to do one last thing. Sometimes if you press green flag and stop at weird spots, it might not go back to normal. So at the beginning of the game, whenever you press the green flag, change the brightness to zero, to normal. Okay, and then after five seconds, change your brightness by negative 40, and 40 seconds later, change it back to normal by 40. So let's just test that out. Ready, set, and go. Okay, it should get pretty dark, and you'll hear crickets on yours. Great, and it's going to stay like that for 40 seconds, and then it's going to go back to normal, the brightness. So I'm just going to leave that there for you to look at if you get stuck, and then when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. 
All right, next, let's go get one of the human sprites, one of the human characters, to share some important information about the solar eclipse. So I'm going to go down here, choose a sprite. I'm going to click a sprite. There's lots of different human uh, sprites to choose from. The one I'm going to choose today is Max. So there's Max right there. I'm going to double-click Max. Perfect. Now I'm going to put Max down on the ground in the bottom corner over here. So uh, Max is not in the way of the sun or the moon. And Max is going to share important information from the article that I gave you in your package. So there's lots of good info in here. You'll have to look through and find a bunch. And I've already done that while you're coding. So now watch what I'm going to have Max do. When the green flag is clicked, I'm going to go to the looks button and get say. And I'm going to make uh, Max say for five seconds. Uh, the first piece of information. Exciting news. There will be a solar eclipse on April 8, 2024. Exclamation mark. So there's the first piece of information. I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so you can see. And Max is saying that for five seconds. Let's just test it out. Ready? Green flag and go. You see that? Max is explaining about when the solar eclipse is going, or going to be. So there's the first piece of information. Now I'm going to go get another piece of information. I'm going to go get a whole bunch of them, in fact, maybe four or five. So I've already done this while you were coding. So my next piece of information for me is the eclipse will last four and a half minutes. And again, Max will say this for five seconds. Let's just make sure that works. Ready? Green flag and go. So there's Max saying about the date of the solar eclipse. And then Max is talking how, about how long the solar eclipse will last. And again, I got all of the information from this article. There's tons of good info in here. So I'm going to pause, let you get three or four good facts. Maybe you can get five if you want about the solar eclipse from that article. Okay. And if you get stuck, look at my code and remember they Max will or whoever your character is will talk for five seconds each time. So I'm going to pause, let you go get three or four different piece of information for Max to share. All right, I hope you enjoyed that article. I certainly got lots of good info here. So look, I got five different pieces of information for Max to share, but look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause and have Max take a break each time. So I'm gonna go to the control and get a wait, and I'm gonna put it right in between these two. Max is gonna wait five seconds, and I guess you're gonna see why in a little while. So I'm gonna get another one of these, uh, wait five seconds right there. So Max will say something, then wait five seconds. Say something, wait five seconds. Say something, wait five seconds. I'm going to do that each time. Uh, almost done. And I'm also going to make it a bit more interesting by having Ma Max change costumes. Because look, if I go to the costumes button right there, Max has four different costumes. And I'm going to make Max switch costumes each time they say something. So look, I'm going to go to the looks button again. I'm just going to put down next costume. So wait five seconds, next costume. After the wait five seconds, next costume. Wait five seconds, next costume. Wait five seconds, next costume. So now it'll at least be a little bit more interesting. So let's just see how it looks for Max. Ready, green flag and go. So Max is on this costume, says this info. Now Max waits five seconds. Doesn't say anything. Then shares another piece of info and changes costume. So that's gonna go on and on for Max. So I added a wait five seconds and I added a next costume in between each piece of information that Max gives. So I suggest that you do the same. Again, it's all five second increments. So I'm gonna leave that up there and let you catch up with that and then I'll show you the next part when you're ready. Now let's go get an owl sprite and I suggest an owl because an owl has big eyes and later I'm going to get sunglasses for the owl to wear to show you that you need to wear eye protection. So I'm going to go choose the owl right there and I'm going to move the owl over here and I'm going to have the owl sitting in a tree. So I'm just going to go get a tree really quickly. There's a couple of trees to choose from. Uh, the tree will look more natural. Uh, where's the tree here? QRST. I like this one. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to put them over here and make sure that um, the owl's in front of the tree. I don't want the owl behind the tree. So notice I'm on the owl right now. I'm not coding on the tree. I'm, I'm not going to code anything for the tree. I'm on the owl right now. So when the green flag is clicked, 
go to the front layer and that's in the looks button front layer if you scroll all the way down here go to the front layer so the owl is always on in the front of the tree so i'm going to put the owl right there let's say and now i'm going to have the owl saying information as well about the solar eclipse they're going to take turns first max is going to talk then the owl is going to talk then max is going to talk then the owl is going to talk so i remember that max spoke first so that's why I'm going to have the owl wait five seconds before the owl shares uh, their piece of information. So um, again, I went to the article. There's so much information in here. You could have uh, lots and lots of uh, talking going on. But I'm going to go and get the first piece of information. So looks button. And I'm going to grab that, put it over here. And the owl's going to talk for five seconds. And here's what I'm going to have the owl say. Do not look directly at the sun during this time okay so let's just test this out when i hit the green flag um mac should share some information and then the owl will share some information let's see if that's working ready green flag and go okay there's max talking and now there's the owl talking perfect so I'm just going to pause there, stop. I'm going to go and get three or four more pieces of information. And every time we do that, we're going to put a wait five seconds in there. So wait five seconds. Now I'm going to go get another say and find some more information to put in there. And then I'm going to get another wait five seconds. Five. I'm going to make this five as well. And I'm going to keep going on for uh, about three or four different pieces of information. So I'm going to pause, let everybody go get more information for the owl. And after you've got three or four pieces of information, I'll be here waiting for you for the next part. Next, let's go get some special glasses for the owl to use during the solar eclipse. So look, I'm going to go down here to choose a sprite right down there. I'm going to go find glasses. So under the letter G, glasses right there. I'm going to click on glasses. There they are right there. But you know, these aren't just any regular glasses. You need specialized eye protection to watch a solar eclipse. So look what I'm going to do. I'm on the glasses there. I'm going to go to costumes. I'm going to get black, okay? And I'm going to use the bucket and I'm going to fill these in because the specialized glasses are very dark. So I'm going to go to the code again. I'm going to grab these glasses and move them on top of the owl. Although the glasses look a little bit big, so I'm just going to make them a bit smaller. Instead of 100%, I'm going to make the glasses 80%. And I'm just going to move them so they're right there on the owl. Good. So now look what I'm going to do. When the green flag is clicked, okay, I want the glasses to hide. Because at the beginning, you don't need the glasses. This is a regular sunny day. So it's glasses are going to hide. And then we're going to have the glasses wait about 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds, wait, 15 seconds, and then show. So I'm going to go to looks and show yourself. And I want to make sure that they're in front of the owl, not behind the owl. So I'm going to go to the front layer right there. So at the beginning, when you hit the green flag, the glasses are hiding. And then after 15 seconds, after the owl talks about uh, what you need to wear for a solar eclipse, the glasses will show themselves on the front layer in front of the owl. So ready? Let's just test that out. Green flag and go. Okay, see no glasses. Max is explaining a few things. Now the owl is explaining something about do not look directly at the sun during this time. Um, Max is talking again. And now look, the glasses should appear. Perfect. See, wear specialized eye protection for solar viewing. And the owl is wearing the glasses. That's great. So, I think that part's done. The glasses. I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so you can see. If you get stuck, look at my code. You might have to change it because you have different information on yours. You might have to wait 20 seconds or 25 seconds. Or maybe you want to rearrange the information. So, uh, talking about the glasses is one of the first ones. Anyways, I'm going to leave that up to you. And if you get stuck, look at my code. And when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. All right, next, let's go get a star because not only do the crickets and insects come out thinking it's nighttime, you can see stars when there's a solar eclipse. So I'm going to go down here to choose a sprite and I'm going to go find a star under the letter S. So I'm going to go way down here. Uh, there's a perfect star down here, right there. Perfect. Now it's too big, so I'm going to make it a lot smaller. I'm going to make it about 20%. 
There we go, perfect. I know it's really tiny, but it's gonna look really nice. So there's the star right there. And now watch how I code the star. So when the green flag is clicked, Okay, when the green flag is clicked, I want it to hide at the beginning because at the beginning you don't see the stars because it's still daytime. So hide, then wait for five seconds. Wait for five seconds and then show yourself for 40 seconds. So show for 40 seconds. Whoops, right there. 40 seconds. And then once again, hide after that 40 seconds. Hide right there. So, perfect. Let's see. Ready? Green flag. See, there's no star there right now. It's hiding, but in a moment, you'll be able to see it. Oh, it's hiding behind the, uh, the text there. So, look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stop right there. I'm going to grab it and just move it somewhere where you can see it, like right there. Now, let's test it. Ready? Green flag. Okay. You can't see the star, but once it gets dark, perfect. The star comes out. So that's great. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this and make a whole bunch of stars all over the night sky here. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my mouse pointer down here. Don't hit the garbage can because you'll delete it. But I'm going to put my mouse pointer right here. I'm going to put two fingers on my touchpad and uh, duplicate it. So there's another one. I'm going to grab this one and maybe move it up higher like this. Now I'm going to duplicate it again and add it. Grab it right there. Maybe move it over here. Do another one. I'm going to do about six of these or so. You can choose as many as you want. You can have a lot or a few. It's up to you. And go on like that. Perfect. Last one. Great. Let me see how this looks now. Okay, at the beginning, you don't see them because it's daylight. But when the solar eclipse happens, you should see them all. Perfect. Look at that. Wonderful. So I'm going to let you do that. Here's the code for the first star. Once you've coded the first star perfectly, then duplicate it a whole bunch of times and move them around wherever you want in the night sky. And we're almost done. So once you've finished uh, coding and duplicating a whole bunch of stars, come on back for the last part, I think. Anyways, I'll see you soon and uh, yeah, good luck with that. Okay, last finishing touch for our project. We need to put a title on it. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go way down here, but instead of clicking that, I'm going to go up here and click the paintbrush right there. See paintbrush? I'm going to click the paintbrush. I'm going to choose T for text and then choose a nice color to go along with my project. And uh, what I want to get is a nice bright color to go along with the night sky. So for me, it's going to be a nice bright yellow. Okay, right there. Nice yellow, almost like the sun. Perfect. Now I'm going to write a title. And for me, the title is going to be Solar Eclipse and uh, enter and then April 8, 2024. Great. Look at that. And I'm going to move it somewhere. You can move it wherever you want. I'm going to move it over here because I like this effect. It's going to look like it's being revealed by the moon. So I know it's there right now, but look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to code. So at the beginning of the uh, demonstration, you're not going to see it. It's going to be hiding. So I'm going to um, click, click, hi, uh, wait. No, I'm going to click hide. So looks, make sure you're hiding. And I'm going to go have it go behind the moon. So go to back layer. It's behind anything that goes in front of it. So it's going to be hiding. It's going to be in the back layer. And then it's going to wait about two or three seconds. So let's go with two seconds for now. And then it's going to show itself. It's kind of like the moon is revealing it. Watch. Uh, show itself. Let's see how that looks. Ready? Okay, ready? Green flag and go. So you don't see it, but now you're going to see it behind the moon. And then it's really going to pop out nicely when you have the eclipse occurring. So there's my last touch. I might move it a little bit somewhere else. I'm going to grab it and just maybe move it up there. Perfect. Behind that star. So... There you go. I hope you enjoyed that project and uh, you might want to tweak it some more. But anyways, uh, I'm sure it's going to look great. Uh, I look forward to seeing you at the next one and I hope you like this one. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.